During these nightly protests, we've been trying to bring you some of the raw emotions and thoughts of those who are attending the rallies as they explain what it's like to be black in Arizona. Tonight, we hear from a recently married couple contemplating raising a family here in their own words. I'm Adonis Dees. This is my wife, Akili Dees. We met in 2012 uh, at ASU, where we both graduated. Uh, we've been married for about four months now, um, and it's been uh, quite the journey. Living in Arizona as a black man is no different from living anywhere as a black man, honestly. My blackness alone can be offensive to other people. Um, so I have to walk around with almost like a guard. Uh, three or four years ago, um, I was walking to my car from class and I had a hoodie on. I was in my car ready to start it up and I get flashlights and guns pointed in my face telling me to like screaming to get out of the car. They arrested me, put my hands behind my back, cuffed me, put me in the back of a truck, said, didn't say a word to me um, until about maybe an hour or so later. Uh, I got out, they were just kind of like, yeah, you're free to go. Um, you were, you matched the description of a suspect when you have encounters like that, that it could have went way left. Like I could have died that day. Yeah. Um, I could have been Trayvon Martin. You know what I mean? It, it needs to be called out. For me, being a black woman living here, I've had a lot of run-ins with some racist individuals. I was at a stoplight and I had picked up my phone to look at a text message from him. And I was at a stoplight, I wasn't driving, and the, there was a white male behind me and he was yelling out of his, his window, oh, you stupid bee, da 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 And he pulled up next to me, rolled his window down, and he said, you stupid N-word, you're gonna die if you keep texting on your phone. And I said, I wasn't driving and texting, I just, I, I just happened to look, and, and it's a shame that I even have to explain myself. In the past seven years, I've been called the N-word four times, and in the past six months, I've been called it three times. The thought of raising a family in Arizona uh, makes me scared. Um, the thought of raising black children in America uh, makes me scared. They have to uh, be twice as good, twice as smart, much more alert. I enjoy Arizona. I enjoy the neighborhoods. I think that there's like great communities around here. But once we get out into the housing areas where there's like families and schools and things like that, I, it could be interesting to see what the neighbors would think about a black family moving.